All right, new tonight, a local church forced to vacate after the landlord ignores orders from the city to clean up the danger inside the congregation. This battle pitting one pastor against another. One is the tenant, the other is the landlord. And tonight, Help Me Hank is getting the city involved and working to make sure the owner is held responsible. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester live on the west side inside the church at the center of the controversy. Hank, good evening. Uh, Kimberly, Devin, good evening to both of you. We are masking up for our own safety because there is a lot of mold here in this building as a result of these problems. In fact, take a look. You can see some of the water damage here to the left. The ceiling tiles collapsing over here on the other side of the church congregation. You can see the ceiling is buckling. This is obviously a clear and present danger. And as you mentioned, it is pitting one Detroit pastor against another. We can't hold service and we have nowhere else to go. The inside of this church, a real danger. This is mold growing, and it's growing all in the floors, all over the pews, in the back of the pews, all back here. It's just, this is mold. We can see it, and the city states it in these recent violation tickets issued by the city inspector. What I thought was going to be something good for me and my people to uh, start over again end up being horrific, terrifying. For Pastor China Mitchell Lewis, who started renting this space in April, the problems have caused stress, concern, and health issues. It's been horrific. It's been terrible. We can't have service. People are getting sick from the mold and the rain and everything, and it's just devastating. The water started seeping in in May. By June, we're told mold was growing. In August, the city writing these violation tickets. The building considered an immediate danger. The owner, a pastor himself, Pastor Jason Palmer, seen here in this photo, not at his church today, but I reached him on the phone. And the city has issued tickets in regards to that, yet you still rented it out, and I'm trying to find out why. At first, he hung up, but then called back. We only got two tickets concerning the building, which I have proof of, and that was about paint on the building, and then they said something about signage. The city's chief enforcement officer meeting me at the church yesterday. What we do is we continue to enforce um, the property maintenance ordinance. And so if the owner doesn't make those corrections, then we will continue to issue tickets. Back out here live inside, you can see the mold growing here on uh, you know, the church itself. It is obviously a big problem. Now, a few updates. The owner of the building has informed the pastor here uh, that he will essentially uh, throw that lease out, that she can move out whenever she wants. The big issue here, obviously, is that she's already paid a lot of rent in the months that they couldn't use this space. So we are working with the city uh, to make sure the owner not only has to go to a court to address these issues, but also make this situation right. We're live here tonight on the West Side. Hank Winchester, help me, Hank. Back to you. And, and Hank, the other issue is what is Pastor Mitchell Lewis going to do now without a safe building to worship? Where is the congregation going it, to go? And right now, Kimberly, that's a sad part of this story also. They are homeless. They are not able to come together and worship in this space. Uh, they're asking for help. If anybody has the space available, feel free to reach out to me. I'll try to connect you all. But uh, right now, as you can imagine, a very stress stressful mm -hmm. situation for everybody involved. Yeah, just awful. Okay. Thank you, Hank.